Hey. All right, so last night I found out that uh, Generation Identitaire uh, Denmark, you know, reactionary, defend Europa, fight degeneracy kind of thing, had gotten their new um, promotional propaganda video taken off of YouTube by uh, an alleged copyright claim from our public broadcaster, Denmark's Radio, which equivalent to the BBC. <clears throat> if it was um, actually about the copyright, that's still bullshit. I'm pretty sure uh, fair use also applies here because YouTube is um, you know, under American law. Um, and if it was political censorship, oh, that's not good, is it? Um, so yeah, I was pretty outraged. Scandalous, scandalous indeed. <laughs> but yeah, this uh, this thing got the old knocking, jogging, as the kids say. And you know, I started thinking about the dynamics at play here. Um, these platforms which basically, you know, now the public square is privately owned. So, a private company can do whatever it wants at any given time. And that means that um, things can just be censored. And uh, there's nothing you can really do about it. But yeah, it seems that the political elites do not trust the people with free information. Uh, now that the traditional gatekeeping um, organizations, institutions, newspapers, um, radio channels, television programs, um, now that the internet is somewhat more decentralized, Although it has, you know, been sucked up into these giant mega corporations now. Um, information, for a time, flowed a lot more freely. And we, <laughs> we saw the results of that. And I'm not saying it's always going to be pretty, because I'm not going to allege that human beings are rational actors. Because that definitely does not seem to be the case. I'm not a rational actor, for one. Um, it seems as if, uh, okay, the, there's a concept called the Overton window, which is the, the rather limited window on the political spectrum, if you accept the 2D spectrum anyways. Um, like a limited window of what is acceptable political um, discourse. And um, anything outside of that is uh, beyond the pale. And um, the overtone window shifts when it's convenient for um, those setting out these agendas. But to me, and this this might be very idealistic of me because I'm not sure if this would create more or less harmony in the world. But it seems to me wrong that there should be an overturn window at all. That, you know, <laughs> I would hope that, you know, we could have a free discourse um, and not this this caste system where um, the mass of humanity is not to be trusted with the forbidden knowledge only the Brahmin class from the institutions of higher learning and whatever fraternities and uh, orders they are members of know these things so they as an as a guiding hand can help 
the bovine <laughs> masses of humanity to, you know, a safe place through like a dialectic of left, right, um, red, blue, whatever, um, to like actually nudge them towards the goal they're trying to reach. Meanwhile, everybody is discussing some culture war bullshit or things that in the grand scheme of things are inconsequential. So yeah, I think my main issue is trying to pass off this system as a free democracy where everybody is an equal player, when there obviously is a Brahmin class, like a priest class, who decides what we can talk about, um, who sets the agenda. And I don't think it works. I don't think, you know, treating these populist movements as if it's an infection you're trying to, to you know, keep down from spreading to the body politic. I don't think it's effectual. I think it, it turns people against these so-called elites so much more. You see it and, you know, the expert has almost become a slur these days. <laughs> because, all right, let's assume that this, you know, caste system is necessary. That most people, you know, they get this information and it turns into a concoction of complete conspiracy theories and, uh, and all that stuff. If that is the case, these people who are supposed to uh, shepherd us have been abusing their power. Totally and completely. Like having, you know, the Pope of Science, uh, Anthony Fauci, go out there and just straight up tell lies because, you know, I am <laughs> science. Um, and this whole thing is just... So yeah, let's assume that most people can't handle, you know, these extreme perspectives and, you know, you know, it'll go mad from the revelation thing. And I think there might be a thing where, you know, you get too much information too quickly. And I've been there, you know, I grew up with the internet back when it was more of a wild west, where you could just come upon Infowars and, uh, on YouTube and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> watching something about basic e economics, and all of a sudden I'm on the corporate report, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Um, like, we all need... I think everybody should be entitled to their own political awakening. And everybody is entitled to be stupid before becoming wise, because that's the human condition. And trying to gatekeep and control the narrative with like an iron fist is just going to turn people against you. Yeah. So yeah, that's it, I guess. Um, I hope, uh, hope you all are having a good day. <laughs> Bye.